Good evening. Welcome back to Craft Check. Uh, tonight I've got another DIY video for you, similar to my All Spice Dram video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a stinging nettle liqueur. And then next episode uh, will be a cocktail uh, doing something with it, assuming it goes right. And uh, the method we're going to uh, employ today is called a rapid infusion, and that is using a cream whipper. I have one here. That's uh, its usual use, uses these chargers here full of nitrous. And you put regular cream in, you uh, pour out the nitrous and it turns into whipped cream. But there's also a technique using these that you can use for cocktails and that's making infusions that would normally take uh, several weeks of steeping uh, whatever you're infusing into the spirit uh, can be done in a matter of minutes by applying a high amount of pressure. So, in order to use stinging nettles for this, uh, these need a bit of preparation. There's about uh, 40 uh, leaves, not too large, but not tiny either. Uh, it is spring, so it's kind of all sizes on the, the plant outside. And in order to prepare these so they don't sting your mouth when you take anything, you can steep these in spirit and that will get rid of any sting. Uh, but if you're doing a rapid infusion, uh, what I recommend you do is uh, put them in a sieve like this, uh, Dunk them in some boiling water for about 30, 35 seconds, so really blanch them, and then immediately transfer them to an ice bath. So a bowl full of ice, take the ice out, dunk it in the water, and uh, take it out, leave it off to dry. This has three effects. One, gets them clean, any impurities in the garden, all gone. Two, it takes the sting out, very important. And uh, three, it locks in the chlorophyll in the leaf. So we're gonna take these, see, it doesn't hurt. We're just going to pop these straight in. While you're picking them, you may want to uh, try and get as little of the stem as possible. We just want the leaf. I'm just going to wipe up here because there was a little bit of liquid. And uh, here we have a mixture of 250 milliliters of vodka and 250 milliliters of sugar syrup. Um, you could always experiment in future with different base spirits, whoops. Um, so rum would give a bit of a sweeter profile, but I'm just going with a, a clear spirit to begin with, so we can really taste what the liqueur comes across as. There we go, that's fine, I'm just gonna mop up here, spill a little bit. There we go. So a trick as well is to get the whipper nice and cold before you start. This has been in the freezer and then the fridge, respectively. Screw on the cap here. <laughs> Doing well. Get it nice and tight. I'm going to take the charger. We're going to take a nitrous coin. And we're going to put this in. We're going to twist. Screw it on until you hear the release of the charge. that. So the canister is now depleted. And so what, in fact, I'm just going to take this off. Make sure that's screwed on tight as well. And I'll just put a second charge in. Twist that until you hear the release. And there we go. <laughs> so that's two charges worth of pressure in there. You can see this is getting very cold, give it a little shake. So now what is would normally happen over a very long period of time is happening very rapidly. And there is another technique you can use, um, and that is using a blender. Uh, so a blender technique uh, if you use a very cold blade uh, in a blender with greens such as stinging nettles or basil, anything like that, put it in with your spirit and blend it at very high speed with a very cold blade. What will happen? It will slice through uh, the the greens that you're using for an infusion, and will uh, what will happen is the chlorophyll will all be released. But what won't be released is the bitter sort of natural reaction uh, that these leaves. Um, 
do in uh, in nature, um, which make themselves taste very bitter as sort of a, uh, a natural remedy against predators, or, well, not predators, herbivores, things like that. Um, but this infusion technique, um, hopefully, will uh, mean that we don't have to uh, worry about doing that. So we can just use the whipper. This has got incredibly cold, so I'm just going to squirt this out into a glass and this releases the pressure. Putting the nozzle back on would be a good idea. There we go. And there we go. Now, when you boil the, there we go, we've got the liquid now. So when you boil this thing in nettles, you don't get any color runoff. And fingers crossed, what will have happened is we'll be left with a bright green liqueur, but I can't guarantee. So fingers crossed, it will simply taste of stinging nettles. So we're just going to strain this in. There we go, it is still clear, and that's fine. Like I said, this is a first time for me as well. Bring this to the centre here. Smooth that out. Don't want to lose any. Now, a lot of people describe stinging nettles when they brew it in tea or something as something that they can't really explain. It's a very unique flavour, but it's earthy and it's good for you, so a lot of people swear by it. And uh, as you may see in the next episode, it's closely related to the mint plant. There's a little spoiler for the upcoming episode. Now, that's fairly clear. I think we caught all of the stinging nettles, so I'm just going to... Fill this into the vodka that I'm coming from. I need a better jug for this. This is rather wasteful. It's not going to come to the top because this is a litre bottle and my whip only has a maximum limit of 500 millilitres. So there we are, a half full bottle of stinging nettle liqueur. There you have it. And I tell you what, so this will not be as strong as vodka. It'll be half strong because we've uh, cut it with sugar syrup, so I'm just going to pour a small glass. And yeah, proof is in the tasting. It smells awfully earthy, as well as, well as uh, the clear flavour of the uh, vodka, so I'll give it a try. That's really interesting, it's almost like licorice, but um, much more earthy. Mmm. That's quite interesting. I think we've had a success there. Uh, let me know if you give this a try yourself, and uh, let me know how you got on, any uh, obstacles or issues, or um, any different results, because really I thought this was going to come out uh, you know, bright green from the chlorophyll, but evidently not. It's come out lovely and clear. Still tastes really good though. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Craft Check, and uh, I hope you uh, check in for the next one. Cheers.